right, so the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra starts at $1,200. Here we have a phone that's gonna start around $600. And let me just show you something real quick. If you go to the settings, and if I go into my display, and if I go into the screen refresh rate, you'll see that we can go all the way up to 165 hertz refresh rate. That is crazy. And of course, I can switch between 60 hertz, 90 hertz, 120 hertz, and 165. And on the top corner, you'll see it's gonna reflect the current refresh rate next to that clock, all right? And of course, the crazy thing is the phone is gonna start around $600. So let's dive in, unbox it, look at its features and specs, and see if it is a better buy than the S21 Ultra. All right, so here's the box that it comes in. This is the Nubia Red Magic 6. So let's see what's in the box. All right, so we have a great presentation. Here's the actual phone, which we are gonna tour in a second. All right, so I put that to the side. So here we have the actual charging brick. Let's see what's in there. So that's the charging brick right there. Nice and large, as you can see. Okay, USB type C. Now that is actually a 30 watt quick charging brick. It's gonna charge your phone from zero to 100 in 65 minutes using this charger. Okay, and now what we have is we have a nice little cable and the cable is gonna be in red color. Of course, it's gonna be uh, type C to type C for maximum speed. And in this box, we only have a bunch of guides, which is this stuff right here. Now let's dive in and do a tour of the actual product and also I'll drop a link down below to their website so you can check the phone out for yourself. All right, so here we have the phone. Let's do a quick tour around the device. Let's look at the bottom real quick. So at the bottom, we have a speaker. Okay, we have a USB Type-C port and we have the SIM card and of course a little microphone right there. Uh, on the side, we have a lot of stuff going on. Now this is the power button. These are side shoulder buttons. That's gonna be for gaming. This is a gaming focused phone. And then here what we have is something really amazing. What we have here is a fan. Now one of these guys, there's one on this side and the one on the other side. One of these guys is gonna be an intake fan and the other one is gonna be an exhaust fan. So basically the air comes in from one side and goes out from the other after it cools the device. This is a cooled product. It has built-in fans so the phone doesn't get too hot when you're gaming. You can actually hear the fan. I'm gonna have you listen to that in a minute. Now here we have a red button. This is a dedicated gaming button. When you uh, switch this on, it actually does some crazy stuff. I'm gonna show that to you in a second as well. And then over here we have the volume rocker, volume up and volume down. And then if you look at the top, nothing here except for a headphone jack. So that's great again for gamers. And of course we have a little microphone, okay? We do have another speaker on the top here in the earpiece. So it does have dual stereo speakers, which is great. Now on the back, we do have a triple rear camera. We have a 64 megapixel main camera. We have an eight megapixel telephoto camera, and then we have a macro camera. Now these cameras do an okay job, but this phone is more gaming focused. So the cameras are gonna be average in quality. However, that main camera can actually record at 8K resolution at 30 frames per second. And of course you can do 4K at 30 or 60. So it's not a weak camera, but the highlight of the phone is in fact the gaming capabilities. All right, so let's quickly go over some of the specs of this phone. First, I'm gonna tell you guys, it does have an in-display fingerprint sensor that's gonna be optical, okay? So when I press and hold, it just unlocks it. It is super fast. Now the screen itself is a 6.8 inch display. This is a full high definition plus display up to a 165 Hertz refresh rate. And of course it's an AMOLED display. Now when it comes to processing, this is top of the line. You have Snapdragon 888 processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal UFS 3.1 storage. So the phone is no joke. It performs like any flagship. Now I did talk about this red button on the side right here. So basically when you flip this button, uh, it simply transforms the phone into a mini smartphone gaming console. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna flip the button right now. Okay, so everything just flipped over. 
we have a nice little animation and we are dropped into our gaming zone. Now the best part with this is all the games are going to appear right here. You can see Call of Duty, you can see uh, Asphalt 9. But the thing is, over here you can see a button that says Turbo Fan. I can click on this one and it actually turns on and off the fan I talked about in the beginning of the video that gives you an intake, cools the phone down, and then the exhaust, which is the hot air that blows out of the phone. So you can turn on and off the fan right from here. One more thing you can do is you can pull it in from the side and you have access to this control panel. You can change the brightness, change the refresh rate right from here, as you can see, okay? And you can do a bunch of other things like accessing some of your applications. And I can swipe over and I have access to even more settings. I can record gameplay, okay? I can enable certain other features. So there's a dedicated gaming space sitting right here. So let's just pull up a game right here. I'm going to launch this game right here. So it launches the game. Let's X this out. I'm just going to show you guys how fast the whole gaming is. So right now, I don't have the fan enabled. So what I can do is I can go back over here and I can simply tap on this button, turbo fan, and that's going to actually uh, start the fan. Now the phone is being cooled. Let's click on play here. Okay, real quick. One of the biggest features of this whole thing is uh, gaming of this phone, Red Magic 6, 6, is in fact gaming. I can actually hear the fan blowing in and blowing out, all right? So it's a, it's a powerful fan that's going to keep the device nice and cool. Look at the graphics, perfect, okay? So let's see what we can do. All right, so that's it. So incredible gaming performance. You can tap on back, pause the game, but I can tap on game space, which takes me back to the game space. Now when I'm done, I can flip that switch, the red switch right here, and it's gonna turn off that game space, and you are gonna go back uh, into the usual interface. Now a few other things I really love about this phone when it comes to customization is the wallpapers. Uh, let me pinch the screen. I'm gonna tap on wallpapers. We do have some really incredible wallpapers for the lock screen, so if I tap on more, uh, here we have dynamic live wallpapers. Look at how cool they are. So that's one, okay? That's another one right there, okay? And that's another one right here. So all these guys are designed for the lock screen. So if I tap over here, and if I go home and turn off the phone and turn it on, you are gonna see it right there, okay? Roll nice wallpaper. Let's pinch that one more time, go to wallpapers. So these are all the other wallpapers. All special custom wallpapers uh, by Red Magic, as you can see. Okay, look at that. Really high quality wallpapers. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Now, on the back of the phone, we also have an LED light. Right now, it is glowing, as you can see. Let me just bring that closer. Okay, so you can see it's right there. It is glowing. Okay, so that is that is actually customizable. So again, if I were to go back into my phone over here, okay, if I go to the settings, if I go down a little bit, here it is, light strip settings. So if I click on this one, I can turn it on and off. As soon as I turn it on, I get all these options. So over here, I can say I want the breathing effect, which is what I have right now, or I can have it steadily light up. So when I look at it now, it's going to be uh, lit up the whole time. So it's just going to be on. All right. Of course that could uh, eat your battery, but that's what you get. I mean, these are the prices you pay for fancy features. And look, you can actually use the light strip for notifications, incoming calls, and all kinds of other options, as you can see. So it's a great little customization option. All right. And then of course we have other settings here. We have the display that we talked about. We have the refresh rate options. Uh, we can do dark mode. You also have the eye care mode, so you can adjust it so it's easy on the eyes if you're reading books or something on your phone. Now, if I go down a little bit, I can also access my cooling fan. So if I tap on my cooling fan, uh, you can turn that on and off anytime you want from here if you need it. And if you do turn it on, you also have some options. You can do intelligent adjustments or you can do fast cooling. So that's the maximum fan speed at all times. 
and then you have a couple other options at the bottom right here so let's turn that off go back out and there's also a lot of other customization happening over here navigation buttons and gestures a lot of customization in this phone to make it personalized but that's it that's the nubia red magic 3 i told you guys it's gonna be around 600 dollars it is gonna be a gamer's phone top of the line specs snapdragon 888 12 gigs of RAM, fastest storage, a high level display. This is a large 6.8 inch display, stereo speakers, okay? And these are some really crazy sounding speakers. They're not cheap, you can actually hear them. And of course that crazy refresh rate. So many crazy options. An incredible build quality, an incredible shape in my opinion, looks a lot different than your average phone as you can see. But remember, it has some downsides the cameras are not going to compare to a flagship phone such as the S21, but it's not designed to be a camera phone. Uh, when it comes to gaming and other high-level performance things, it probably does it better than the S21 Ultra. And the price, $600. So I'm going to drop the links to this phone down below. You can go check it out. In a couple weeks, you can start to pre-order these phones. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?